And all of everything we've just talked about, you know, making a game plan, figuring out the line bias, managing your hole and all of that. None of it matters if you can't sail fast right after the start, right? So that is a skill in itself that in our opinion was like more than 50% of like our starting ability. You know, like if you can't lock in immediately after the start, then it doesn't matter how you start. <laughs> so um, being able to lock in for us means, are we able to hike hundred percent, you know, or are we like fidgeting around with our toggling, you know, our trapeze lines or am I fidgeting around with the controls? Um, do we know where the jib sheet is getting sheeted to? Cause we have a mark on the jib sheet and a marking system. And um, you know, we don't want to be adjusting that. So basically just knowing that we can like fully lock in right after the start and being able to kind of get everything to it, their marks for those brief strengths and then focus on nothing but speed and that lane management right at the start is really critical. Um, we do a lot of drills that is like a two minute drill, basically you start and sail for two minutes straight and, and the focus is only on locking in and focusing on your lane management for those two minutes and that's all that matters. Um, and, and so we'll tell you more about drills in a second, but um, those are all a little pieces of like uh, homework that you can gather beforehand. Where's my van gonna be? To? Where's my Cunningham gonna be? Where, how much am I hiking in this breeze strength? It's all really important. Um, I told you guys earlier about the two minute drill. So that's when you start and the full focus is on not, you know, not tacking and just managing your lane and your speed as best as possible for two minutes. Um, and I think there's an intensity that lane management requires that um, is hard. You can't really do that for 10 or 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, and so you, you're practicing directing all of your energy into locking in as fast as you can and sailing the boat as well as you can for those first two really critical minutes. Um, and then after two minutes, you tack and then you sail for another two minutes and then, and, and Steph remind me, uh, and then you tack set basically. Um, yeah. and, and that we love that drill and it really helps simulate locking in after the start. Yeah. It's a fun drill to do when you just have two boats. Um, cause the boats come off the line and you don't, you're not trying to attack each other on the line. You give each other some space. You just focus on executing the start and then you'll see after two minutes who, who has the advantage and you'll see, Oh, maybe the windward boat rolls or the leeward boat gets an advantage. And then when you tack, you'll really, really see that advantage because one boat is, is totally in control of the other.